everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're going to be making a couple of baby cards using this gorgeous die set from Creative Expressions. And it's called the Cutis Washing Line. And it's from her Necessities collection. So I've already got the Baby Sentiment die as well, which is a separate die set on its own. It comes with the Shadow die and the Sentiment. So yeah, we're going to make a couple of really fun cards. So first of all, I went ahead and die cut a load of the images off camera so i've used some pattern paper for these and they're just so cute you've got the little dress the little dungarees cute little teddy bear and bib and then tiny weeny little socks so there's lots of little embossed details on these dies as well so you could always run them through your die cutting machine again with an impressions pad if you've not got the embossed areas um very clear but yeah they're super cute this is the paper pad that I used. This is from Funky Fossil Designs. And as you can see, I used that piece of paper that's got multiple coloured strips on. And then I've been able to get various um, outfits looking slightly different, even though I've used the same piece of paper. I'm not sure if the paper pad's available anymore, but if it is, I'll link it in the description box below. So this is the Swiss Dots embossing folder from Gina K Designs. So I've got an embossed a panel that is five inches by five. Uh, sorry five and a quarter inches by four inches and I'm going to use this vintage romance embossing powder from wow to just heat emboss that sentiment so I really want the colors to kind of match on this card so this is where I make a little bit of a mess as well it is a glitter embossing powder so I really want it to heat from behind but because it is a small sentiment it's a little bit fiddly to do that um, so I did try, I gave it with my tweezers and held it with my fingers. So if you do try this, please be really careful. You don't want to burn yourself. Um, obviously the heat tool gets really, really hot. And then once I felt the powder was kind of sticking on the back, I then could heat set it from the front. And then I just go ahead and give it a second coat as well, just to make sure that I've got a nice crisp embossed image, being as I lost most of the glitter on the first one when I dropped it. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's that sentiment all lovely and heat embossed and it is super, super sparkly. So it's a lovely pastel pink and it goes really nicely with the papers that I'm using today. So I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of that. This is the Cosmic Shimmer Glue that I've got in that little glue bottle. And then I'm just going to place that down nice and, cent well, yeah, kind of centrally, slightly off centre. And then I'm just going to play around with the layout of all these little dies. So while I'm playing with that layout, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick them down with liquid glue, I just want to tell you about something really exciting that's happening in April. So I will be taking part in the Paper Crafters Get Organised Summit this year that's being held on the weekend of April the 19th to the 21st. It's a free event to attend, hosted by 28 different expert crafters that will all be sharing tips and tricks on how to get organised in your space, whether it's a really small craft space or whether you've got a dedicated room. So I'll be sharing my craft space with you all and how I craft in a small space and not let it hold me back. Um, there is a link in the description box below to the free event. It's completely free. It's a virtual event. Everything is available online. Each day of the summit, um, nine videos will be released in the morning and you'll have 24 hours to watch them. If you choose to upgrade and purchase the ultimate bundle ticket, then you'll have access instantly um, from today and also access for life. There's also a lot of bonus um, material as well if you do choose to upgrade. So if you're looking to get organised and spend more time crafting and less time tidying, then this summit is definitely for you. I attended last year as an attendee and I really enjoyed it. So it's nice to see different ways that people store and organize their craft supplies so there is our first card finish for today really quick and easy um but for the second card we're just going to step it up a little bit so for this one i'm going to use the gina k designs lattice embossing folder again i've got an a2 card blank and i'm going to be working on this landscape and then I've got Tattered Rose Distress Oxide. I've just put a scrap of paper in between that card blank there, just so that I can ink around the edges. And this is a great thing to do when you really want matching cardstock and you perhaps don't have a colour that matches. Use your ink pad. See if you've got an ink pad that's a close match. The Tattered Rose really matches beautifully the subtle pink in the paper that I've used. So yeah, it made it look like I'd got coordinating cardstock when I hadn't. So I've just added some liquid glue to the back of that embossed panel. And then once that's stuck down, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my selection of die cuts. So I had already cut quite a few off camera. So this time I'm going to use the washing line, which is just so cute. And it has these tiny weeny little pegs 
um, which can be used to help hold the uh, clothes on the washing line. It's just so so cute. You really can play around with this. There's so many different colour variations you could use. I've kept mine quite pastel, pale, pink and navy blue. But yeah, you could definitely make this really rainbow coloured or whatever you like to, whatever colours you like. Um, but I just really enjoyed playing with this today. I'm not normally one for lots of fiddly die cutting and fiddly dies, but I absolutely love this set. It's so cute. Um, to stick down the smaller elements, I found it just easier to use my tweezers and just dip them in some glue. So I've just put a little bit of glue there on my non-stick mat and I just found it a little bit easier just to kind of use my tweezers for this. Um, you could, of course, die cut them using double-sided adhesive sheets. However, because they're so small, I think you'd really struggle to take off the backing paper. So yeah, liquid glue is probably a lot easier for this uh, and some tweezers. So for the sentiment, uh, the baby sentiment dye, I'm just going to use the same Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink. You could use a blending brush to do this, but I just find a direct ink pad to paper is absolutely fine. I've then got this Happy New Baby Huffy Doodle sentiment stamp. This came free with an order um, and I'm just going to stamp that onto some navy blue cardstock and I'm going to heat emboss it in white. So I'm just using my anti-static powder bag. I'm just making sure the stamp's nice and clean so I don't contaminate my uh, wow embossing ink pad. I'm going to stamp it out a couple of times just so that I make sure I get a nice crisp emboss and I'm going to use the white super fine embossing powder from wow. For the baby sentiment I'm also going to heat emboss that as well. I'm going to ink it up with my wow embossing ink pad and then I'm just going to add some wow super fine clear embossing powder. It's a little bit fiddly with sentiments because they're so small and you don't want to kind of remove any of the powder if you touch it with your fingers so I'm trying to be careful with my tweezers there or just make sure that I just grab around the edge and then I'm just going to heat set these using my heat tool on the hottest setting. I've got my cork mat which really does help with warping. It also absorbs some of the heat and it means you can still your tweezers into it if you need to hold intricate dies in place um but yeah then once that's heat set i can go ahead and just add that to my card i decide to add some foam tape between the happy new uh, just to pop it up a little bit and then i'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of the baby sentiment again and just stick that nice and flat on my card so that is the two finished cards for today i really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial i hope that it's given you some inspiration for any new baby cards that you might need to make and also so that you could see this super cute die set as always, all the products that I've used today will be linked in the description box below, along with a link to the free ticket for the Paper Crafters Get Organised Summit. Um, I will be leaving a little bit more information on social media about this as well. Um, please don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.